hello everyone and welcome back so in today's video we are going to solve another uh, program which is related to streams one of my subscriber asked me to solve a program using streams and that program is basically to check whether a array is the subset of another array or not so we'll be seeing that today using the streams i will be explaining each and everything detail we'll be writing the code and then i'll be exp explaining each and everything so without any further delay let's get started and streams are kind of now a very budge words in the interviews and uh, interviewer asks generally the stream related questions very frequently so let's get started so let me first what i have taken here is i have taken a class a raw class having a, like the name is test array subset so let's just go ahead and create a main method first <coughs> okay now i am going to create one array so i've named it as array one let me put some elements here i have one 54 then 32 some thing like two then eight so that's it okay we have five elements in this now we have array two and in this one also we'll be putting some elements and then i'll be explaining what exactly is the subset okay then i have here 3 then 2 then 32 then 8 54 and 1 and then some 42 okay so we have the array 1 and in array 1 we have 1 54 32 2 and 8 in array 2 we have some 7 elements okay so how we can say if the array 1 is the subset of array 2 uh, that in array 2 all the elements of array 1 should be present like in array 1 we have 154 32 200 so it should be present in array 2 then we can say is array 1 is subset of array 2 so that is what we are going to prove using the stream api okay so let me just go ahead and create one public static class uh, sorry public static method uh, so it will return a boolean we'll be just checking if it's a subset of the second array or not so we'll name it as is array static okay and we will be this particular method will accept two parameters array one and array two okay so is array static okay so sorry it should be outside this particular main method okay why it is giving the error in array to duplicate parameter array to okay we have named it as array to this one also okay now why it will give an error because this particular method is returning a boolean and we have not returning we have not returned anything from here that don't worry that will uh, that will be writing just now we'll be writing a stream logic so we will be just calling this method from the main method so let me just put a sys out and we will be calling the same method from here and as it is a main method we can direct as it is a static method we can directly call without any reference and we will be passing here as array 1 and array 2 from here okay looks fine now let's write the logic for the stream so let's first put the return statement here now what we are going to do whatever array we are expecting let me first quickly uh, write the logic and then i will explain you what exactly it means so first let me quickly complete this so array is it is giving me a let me just quickly import okay now we have util import so we have converted the array one into streams now we will be doing all match and in all match it accepts a predicate so let's take a variable x i'll be explaining don't worry let me just complete it it will be taking accept again we will be converting the second array into the stream then we will check any match for this particular one and here we'll be passing um, let's take one variable y 
and y should be equal to whatever we are getting from the array 1 and if that matches it will return okay looks fine for me let me quickly go ahead save it run it and then i'll explain you it says true okay now let me change few elements here if i put uh, 46 which is not present in array 2 so it should return false okay so it is working perfectly fine so let me go ahead and quickly explain what we have done see if you go ahead and use for loop it will be kind of four five minimum minimum five lines of uh, code uh, or maybe more than that okay and we have written this logic in just a uh, one line okay what we have done here is first we have taken the array one arrays dot stream stream is a method which takes an element like we have passed array in stream method it will convert the array one into the stream now we have applied all match methods in array one and in all match method takes one predicate if you have not watched the predicate video and if you don't have much idea i request you to go ahead and watch the predicate video it's already available on my channel so all match what exactly it should match see now from here we have got one particular stream and now we are passing one one elements in this particular all match methods from this stream so x is nothing but an element that we have got from here so now what we are doing here all match x is an element from this particular stream and again here we are converting array 2 into stream and here we are applying any match now from whatever the stream we have got from here we are getting element in and the variable name is y so what we are checking here okay uh, let me quickly explain you uh, the logic behind in a simple terms okay so from array 2 we have got this stream from array 1 we have got this stream okay from array 1 we are saying match this particular method should return true if it matches all the element it if it matches all the element in this particular form okay so x will have all the elements so suppose for the first time it goes and checks one so one satisfies this particular condition one will go here from array to uh, suppose from array to whatever the elements we have got it will compare if the elements that is present from array to and it has any match that means it will check from all the elements from array to if any elements matches this particular x then it will return true so for the first case suppose we have got the true now it will again go and check for the second case second also we have returned true third again four and five so if all the condition will match the all match will return true if any of this particular condition will fail it will immediately return false so that is how it will work so hope you are able to understand this and this is how you should explain in your interviews also it's not only about writing the code but your logic should be very clear and you are you should be able to explain the interviewer in a very simple form so that is all for today let me know if you want me to cover any other video or anyways we have sort list of uh, problems that i have prepared and i will be uploading the videos on that also soon so that's all for today hope you have enjoyed and learned something so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe thank you